Royce Cunningham, a true innovator, raised things in its own way. Then it was time for the Pete Halsmer, Wally Dollenbach Jr. story. Here's how Brock and I called it. And the tight stuff like right here, Dollenbach has got a chance. Dollenbach drives him outside. No, they touch their Brock. Halsmer off the racetrack. Oh, yes, and right across the racetrack. That very fast kink in the racetrack. And Davy Jones is off the track. Oh, Brock, just a Davy Jones. Let's, oh, Cyril Vandenberg, who was riding in fourth, came through in the Corvette, had nowhere to go. The literally destroyed BMW. Now we're with John Morton as he rides through. People competing against other people in vehicles, such as this contest, Car Rollover, held on the beaches of Daytona, Florida during the late 40s. But long before the time... They're a lot of fun, nonetheless, and sometimes pretty dangerous. Driver John Williamson in the number 27 car found out the hard way. Turn around. He uses the mirror to become a champ. The worst for Pete Halsmer, as he was coming up to pass number 28, Jim Miller, in turn one. Pete rear-ended him with a force that sent them reeling into the stick. Now, this was Gary Shaw. Score big on this one. Muggy bad angle. Oh, you bet. This unbelievable Johnny Dangerous. Relentlessly as he raced three wide with 1992 Indy 500 winner Al Unser Jr. and Bobby Hillen, leaving Unser and Hillen to come together in the end. Oh! If Will can be said to be fortunate, it was that none of the others in Ohio. There, we got the act of number 58, Mark Pasteur, in the 750cc Super Sport race. I'm not talking about... Direct line to the ramp. Oh, yeah. Truck lid open for a little extra style. No points for that. In Schrader's machine. Occasionally, all the drivers keep it headed in the right direction. After John Andretti and Ted Musgrave spin, Ricky Craven tries to miss the wreck. <laughs> Coming from the back to the front twice. One of the tricks of the experience, guys. Wow, look at the water pouring out of that school bus. It's just a... Yeah, I'll tell you what, we get started here, but I'm still thinking about that tape. There was something familiar about it, but I feel real uneasy about it. There's a lot of, lot of stones left unturned right now. Thirteen cars failed to make it through turn one. It really appreciates their efforts here. Now here's a hair-raising balancing act to get us started. A lot tougher than Fiddler on the Roof. It's called the Helmet Toss. The performer... The fourth of the points, Urban would take the lead. Talladega gave Mark Martin a ride. He won't soon forget. Then the monster mile bit nearly everyone. Ninety oh, Ralph Munch. Man. Oh, what an effort! Two and a half. Using very little on the ramp, but getting great roll. One and three quarters on the door. That'll be another high-scoring roll for the Doc. Royce's specialty was jumping over things. His most famous stunt is the performed only once, never to... 84. Oh, oh man, Junkyard Dog got picked up! Right. Wallace, but got loose. That sent Rusty hard into the outside wall, and then Jimmy Hensley lost it. Ran into Wallace's door. The final blow came from Jeff Bodine. Luckily, all three were out. Oh, here comes the next one. I mean, this is a good hit. That's going to be 35 miles an hour. Wow! Baby, that was a hit. Okay, they may not drive it overnight. That's the one for... Woo! Oh! He's that not... was a hit, choo-choo. Don't wait on it, choo-choo. He came like a freight train. Don't... Earl Waltrip got together. An upset Waltrip got the worst of it as he smacked the outside wall. Pro race at I-70 Speedway, Jody Ridley went out of the ballpark after hitting the foam barriers that lined the concrete walls. Out of that car, the crowd most definitely loves it.
One good thing about Thunder on the Beach here, the folks at the New Jersey Hot Rod Association and everyone else come together to give some good On the inside of Earnhardt. Oh, Jerry, it's loose. The crash dropped Dale's Daytona 500 record to a dismal 0 for 19. 114 laps early until one of the most horrifying crashes in motorsports history. 11 flips in four seconds. Allison would survive with serious injuries, but it was a sight no one would soon forget. It's scary. Well, let's see what happens here. There's Whoa. the first one. He did good, didn't he? <laughs> oh, my God. Now, the stunt ends with a spectacular finish, but I'm not going to tell you about that until after we get the second helmet up here. Here he comes. There it is. And a little toss. Oh, -ho. nice job. Watch this now. This is a young lady named Lisa. She's coming right into the frame. Here comes the car. Easy does it. Whoa. Oh, I don't oh, my goodness. A little close, huh? There are... Be repeated. Leap over the house. Back hitting the wall, coming out of turn four, and immediately collecting Cope, turning him right into the pit wall. What a shot! Cope takes, followed immediately with another from Dahlenbeck. The impacts and Zimbo spinning along the fence, coming to rest together in mangled heaps. And need I tell you, the camera that captured this was a fixed position robotic.